Who's uh, he playing? Uh, Jeff Anderson. All right, Jeff, we're rooting for you. <laughs> Jeff Anderson. From Napa. Zenwabi. I think I know the guy. Yeah, you do. Sure, I know him. And welcome, everyone, to the Mechanics Institute on this Thursday night. We are covering the Thursday night marathon, round seven. I'm Abel Talamantes, chess director at the Mechanics Institute, and joining me is three-time U.S. champ, Grandmaster Nick DeFermian, and FIDE master Paul Whitehead. And uh, I've been following this game for like the last five minutes. Check this position out. This is board one, Jeff Anderson, Zenwabi playing white against Grandmaster Gadir Gusainov. And what do you make of this position? It looks like Jeff Anderson is up a pawn. But is there more to it? It looks like he's just straight up ahead of pawn. Well, let's see, knight f7. Yeah, I mean, He's tempting him to play bishop e5 and rook g6 check or something like that, which would lose probably. Uh, yeah, you don't, don't want that pawn with your knight on c7 being kind of. <laughs> and uh, maybe it'll help to go back to see like how we got to this position because they played a game, uh, I, it, I think it was in the last Thursday Marathon. Wow, look at that, B4 by, uh, by Jeff. I like that move, you know? Be original. Queenside play, yeah. What? Queenside play. Yeah, be original. Make some moves and take the guy out of his comfort zone. That's nice, a temporary pawn sacrifice. Like something had to happen, right? I mean, oh, gets that back. Yeah, look at this. And uh, what I was going to say is that when they played last, I think Jeff Anderson completely blitzed out his moves. And then he lost a, a quick game. But if you look at the time, uh, Jeff is thinking because he's down to 11 minutes to Gadir's 31. But uh, thinking paid off. Who, who would have thought? Uh, but now he's already maybe getting in a bit of trouble that Bishop has to guard the knight on, uh, on D7. And... Don't want to go to g3 because of pawn to h4. You don't want to go to f4 because of pawn to g5. So you have to go all the way back to h2. And then there could be some back rank issues coming up. Oh, because it takes away the escape square then on h2. Yeah, I'm afraid this is starting to look like a typical deer game where, you know. Now it now, was there something better when we were, say, here in this position? Like, if I, I go, I'm going a few moves back. Like, h3 is, is good, pawn to f5, but then he wasted this move, pawn to a3, um, when he could have, you know, resettled his, his pieces. Something like, if he'd gone rook to b7, so that knight's guarded. Right. Um, it's yeah now now he's and he, he's allowing tactic and he did do bishop h2 and knight e5 you know fine move that knight is plugging the hole yeah but the thing is if the bishop recaptures then it's uh oh that would be probably lost it's covering that h2 this flight square yeah no um, so you almost got maybe you can go rook to b7 rook, now. Rook b7, that looks like uh, the move. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's not, it's not all, you know, it's not over yet. Uh, well, Jeff is playing really well, but, uh, you know, less than 10 minutes left. Outrated by almost a thousand points. Um, how did, um, how did uh, the, the chess cafe go? It's good. They missed you, Paul, but, you know, the tradition came on, so uh, it was good. Okay, good. And, and uh, as we follow the adventures of board one, uh, let's check in on board two. International master Balachandra Dulipala against Aaron Nikoski playing black. A double edged game. I'm, I'm just rooting for the underdogs. You know, maybe I shouldn't be biased, but these two games, you know. That's what I was saying. I mean, I just want to see these. Gadir has never lost a game at the mechanics. It's never lost. And 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 we're talking players like Alex Lenderman, the US Open champion, and yeah. some other people. It's frightening. And uh, Rukja is in the chat and uh, had, Hi, a, Lexi. had a quick game. Uh, let's take a look at this. This doubling on the e-file is not going to do anything. White's is going to play Rook e5 or knight e5. This was... Uh, I like it when the pieces uh, go backwards. You like seeing the pieces go backwards? <laughs> that makes it fun. Hi, Alexi. Hey, Alexi. Alexi in the chat. And uh, gosh darn it. Like I lost my uh, my Twitch feed, so like I can't see myself. So, Paul, was it a good time back in Virginia? It was. It was fantastic. I, I donated a chess set to a, a local um, uh, cafe where people play games. Did you, was it a Mechanics Institute chess set, the board? You know, well, it was, um, yeah, it was. It was? <laughs> or just saying that it was? It was. It was a nice little wooden set that I came into the club and nicked. Uh, okay. So well, one of the donated sets. Oh yeah, no, that's perfect. I was saying we we should like uh, spread the gospel and uh, donate those uh, those mats that we have at the Mechanics Institute. Oh, that's yeah, that's true. I forgot to do that. Right, we're we're but, we're gonna be the apostles. You're gonna be Paul the Apostle going around. Paul the Apostle, no problem. And yeah. Saint Nicholas, Saint Nick the Apostle, and uh, Saint Saint Judith the Apostle, the Martyr. Bishop H seven check looks like. Does that is that any good here? That is what happened. And taking a look at this, this is uh, Ritwick Narendra taking care of business right here in round seven. Oh, wow! You're, you're going quick is too, too quick for me. <laughs> and this was against uh, Nikunj Osa. So, uh, well, that was a brutal finish. Ozo, who's been having some great games, uh, was kind of the victim of. Uh, of a, both I like the way both players just blitz out their moves. Yeah, <laughs> a victim of assault here on the board. Uh, going back to board one really quick, uh, checking on the action. A little bit of drama here because. Uh, uh, Jeff Anderson looks like uh, he's the closest to uh, maintaining. I mean, I'm not sure what white should play here. Uh, maybe King just start running out with the king. And from uh, well, he's listening to you, Paul. That's right, King F1. Aaron Craig is in the chat. He's trying to learn the Carol Khan because he's been falling hard with the Khan Sicilian. Played it this well, round. You know, got insane. The Carol just can't. You know, the Carol can't. And that's the problem. You know, 
you try to play the Caro comp, but the Caro really can't. And we've known that for a long time. So he said he played the Caro con. Let's take a look at that game. He was playing uh, Sonny Lou. So let's. And, okay, so um, he played the con Sicilian and the Caro con uh, defense. So um, it's all about the con, you know? So we did, we did not see the wrath of Khan. And uh, as he said, <clears throat> they got into an insanely boring game, and then they just took a draw. <laughs> but, you know, the funny thing is uh, Kyron Griffith played the Carol Khan, and a lot of those games were far from boring. So, like, what what, oh, is, yeah. what is the difference there? Aaron, you need to keep playing it. You need to, you know, get good at the Carol Khan. And hello to Alexi Root in the chat. Back to board one. Yeah, the Caro Con, you know, the Caro Con. Sorry, I'm having fun with that, folks. Then I'll be on to the next thing. The trouble in this game, Jeff Anderson at five minutes left on the clock here. Yeah, and there'll be all kinds of traps. But I, I like this idea of just getting the king into the middle for a while. Getting out of dodge. And then trying to play f3, or maybe even f3 now. Okay, so he plays king e2. I would say Gadir, you know, I mean, he has such a nice position. It must be, you know, at least a draw for black. Yeah. You know, okay. That's, with four minutes left. It's a forced win for Black. <laughs> and that is right. Uh, there is a tournament at the Mechanics Institute this weekend. It is definitely time to sign up. The Bernardo Smith Memorial, two-day, FIDE rated, five rounds at the Mechanics Institute. Uh, Michael F. Pon Egner is among the registrants so uh get in on this what about knight c4 here you know start moving the knight up into the game also a fine move yeah oh Paul done. here done that knight does something the That's knight on c7 fun. is starting to look kind of attractive and then that bishop on h2 is still working got a nice diagonal so the only problem here is Gadir that's the well, only Gadir, problem yeah Gadir is a big problem but it's it's almost like uh, the sands of the hourglass are starting to run out in terms of Jeff Anderson's time and the more Gadir mixes it up will he be able to induce a mistake and then Pounce on well, him. here, if king d2, knight b3 check, and the king has to go back to the e file, so maybe this isn't going, white's not getting any further here. You know, maybe Jeff wants to repeat moves a couple of times, see if Kadir is really going to go that far. Yeah, that's that's there you go. And he's declined a draw already, but that was much earlier in the game. Who has Kadir did. Why do you offer a 2,700 grandmaster <laughs> or a 26? Yeah, how can you, you know? And, and, and the thing to keep in mind here, Gadir is only ahead by a half point in the standings. So mm -hmm. a, a draw is not what Gadir wants because if Balachandra Dulapala wins, then they're, they're even. And uh, I'm sure he's not wanting to split money. Aha, bishop to e3 check. Okay, that's that is a good move. Oh, look at this mate, knight d6, bishop d3, king e1. Oh, that's not mate. Bishop c3 is not mate. You know, you could so what knight, about knight b what about knight b6 here? Oh, then the rook can go to d8. Yeah, I like blocking the d file. Oh, yeah, d8. Yeah, no good. 
How about knight g6, bishop c3, Nick? <laughs> yes. Knight yes. takes c8, bishop d3, mate. No, it's not mate. He goes into the corner. <laughs> what about knight e6? Can we do that? Uh -oh. Well, you oh. have, yeah, you might be able to. Rook c4, rook g7, and then bishop e5. Oh, Aaron Craig. He has uh, ventured into the world of professional chess because he's got his $26.87 check. Did you, see right. how the, did you see how the mechanics kept that extra 13 cents, though? <laughs> figuring out ahead. We, we round down and then uh, keep the rest. <laughs> we know what we're doing here. Yeah. <laughs> we work for big chess. That's right. Our, our accountant, Jen, suggested we round down to keep a donation as a donation. <laughs> well, this was not.